for taking off at Atlanta. See you guys there. Focus. Good morning guys happy monday i usually start my weekly vlogs on sunday but yesterday was easter and i was finishing up our like easter in dubai vlog and so it didn't really make sense to start the vlog on sunday but if you want to see what we were up to yesterday check out the easter in dubai vlog that one is already up Easter weekend was a little bit of an SHIT show, literally. <laughs> You'll have to watch the vlog to find out what I mean, but I'm really excited about this upcoming week because the kids and I are going to be headed back to the United States. I obviously am also sad about leaving my husband. We're going to be apart for about six weeks while he stays here to finish the basketball season and then he will come home as well, but I'm like, always really excited to go home and be back in our house see our friends and family and just like kind of get back into the swing of our routine even before my husband joins us for the summer I'm a summer baby my husband's a summer baby Harper's a summer baby we only have one little February baby and that's Jackson but needless to say because we have all those summer birthdays like my family loves the summer and we always have a great time in the summer being that it's my husband's off season and he also like doesn't have practice in games, it is definitely my favorite time of the year. And now I am starting to look forward to that. Today is April 1st and so it is like officially a new month. We made it through quarter one. Quarter one is always like kind of tough for me to be honest. I feel like coming off of the holidays like I'm on a high right like I'm always very excited for Christmas very excited for New Year's and I'm like riding that wave of the holiday season and then by like mid-January I feel like I, I sort of just crash and I feel like I don't really have anything to look forward to like in comparison to you know the period that just ended where there was a lot going on a lot to plan a lot to look forward to so quarter one I think I get hit with a little bit of like I wouldn't say seasonal depression but just like sadness and like lack of energy and being down and honestly getting back into a workout routine towards the end of the quarter is kind of what helped me to like push through that find some energy and kind of find like some motivation to get excited again but I am super excited that we are now in quarter two you know it's spring things are looking up so this week, my main focus, obviously, at least Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, is going to be preparing for this trip home with the kids. We are pretty much taking home all of our stuff just because we're not 100% sure if my husband's going to resign with this team or not at this point. And so we definitely don't want to like leave a bunch of our stuff and then not come back and not have it. So my mom is here and she's going to be helping me pack and get everything together. Also traveling with two small kids, I have to get together like the carry on bag and all that stuff to make sure that we have everything that we need on the actual trip. So for the first half of the week, that's going to be my main focus. We are also going to the Museum of the Future tomorrow, which is like a must do activity in Dubai, apparently that we have not done yet and so we're gonna do that tomorrow before we head out and then um Wednesday night I guess Thursday morning technically our flight leaves at like 2 a.m and so we will be traveling I'm gonna try my best to take you guys along with us for some of the travel day but as you guys know like traveling with kids it's really hard for me to actually pick up the camera to record anything because my hands are full but I'm gonna try to show you guys what I can of the actual travel day and then towards the end of the week we'll be at home and so you guys will get to kind of see us getting settled at home and what that looks like as we navigate jet lag and all that stuff it should be like a super super fun <laughs> weekly vlog because there is a lot going on and a lot for me to show you guys quickly I'm gonna go through my to-do list for the week with you and I will also pop this up on the screen so that you guys can follow along. So first thing is I have to officially enroll Harper in school in summer camp. Over the weekend, we got her acceptances to private schools. If you guys have been following my channel for a while, you know that a few blogs ago when me and the kids were back in the United States, we went back because Harper had basically like interviews at private schools in the Atlanta area. We applied to three and we have been waiting to find out which one she got into. Guys, she got into all three schools. 
I was literally like crying when the exceptions started rolling in. She's like, mommy, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm just so proud of you. I don't know. It was just, it was like a, a lot. The process was a lot. If you guys want to hear more about the application process for private schools, let me know and I will share what I can but it was a whole lot that went into these applications like I was nervous of course she wasn't nervous at all because she didn't even like realize exactly what was going on like we told her that she was just checking out the schools not that they were like interviewing and checking her out but thank you god she got into all three schools and so we got to pick and of course we went with the one that was our number one throughout the whole process like Basically, there were two that I really, really, really liked and one that I looked at more as like a safety school, but she got into all of them and so she will be attending our number one choice for her in the fall and so I have to complete her enrollment package and I have to officially enroll her in summer camp. She's going to be attending summer camp at the same school where she will be going because I just think that it will make for like a smoother transition if she gets to be on campus this summer, maybe even make some friends that'll be at school with her. So she'll go to camp there for the whole summer and then she'll start there in the fall. So I have to do that this week. I also have to ask my close friend slash mother's helper, Sinead, if she will do some grocery shopping and meal prep for us. I'm gonna text her actually as soon as I get done chatting with you guys. It'll just make it much easier when we arrive at home on, I guess it'll be Thursday in the United States if we have like food for a couple days ready and the kitchen stocks. So I need to text her. I need to grab stuff to pack in the kids' carry-ons. Less is more, I think, when it comes to packing their carry-on, especially because we have like a very late night, like red eye flight. I'm hoping, praying, begging God <laughs> that they will rest and sleep on this flight. But I still have to pack a couple of things for them. Of course, I have to grab that stuff. I have to pack. We are only taking like the good stuff, like anything that is super worn, anything that is almost too small for the kids, we're not taking. However, like we've been here since October, so it's still quite a bit of stuff to pack. So I need to finish packing, need to organize the carry-on bags. I need to set up a luggage-free pickup. Luggage-free is basically a service that will pick up your luggage and deliver it to your final destination for you. I'm not sure if we're gonna need luggage free, but if we have more than the allotted amount of bags per person, then I will go ahead and luggage free a bag or two. It'll probably be like kids toys and stuff. But if um, we can fit everything in eight bags, cause that's how many we get to check between all of us and I will just check the bags. But if not, I need to organize a luggage free pickup and I also need to organize VIP airport transit service. It is a little bit of a splurge, but I have found that when traveling alone with the kids, and by alone I mean like without my husband, it is very helpful if the airport offers any sort of VIP service to go ahead and book it. We already booked it for our like departure from Dubai and so we will have someone that meets us at our check-in counter and basically walks with us through the whole process. So, you know, we'll get to like have expedited check-in, go through passport control or whatever and security with the guy that'll be like, you know, helping us to kind of jump to the front of the line so we don't have to wait with the kids and also just like helping with bags because there's a lot of bags traveling with the kids and so I need to set that up for our layover which will be in Newark see if they have anything like that so that we can have some help because usually when you land in the United States coming from a different country you have to like grab your bags they have to go through like a little screening process and then they take them back you know for your the second leg of your trip and like with the kids that's like a lot for me and my mom to have to wrangle both kids and do that so if they have any sort of vip service i need to book that i need to donate all the stuff that we are not taking or at least like bag it up to make it easier for my husband to drop off i need to do all of my content for the week so that means instagram youtube shorts and tiktok i need to basically have everything done and just sitting in drafts so that i can just post it because it's going to be a very easy week and i'm not really going to be able to post on the fly like while i'm trying to manage everything else that's going on so i need to have my content for the week ready to go i need to edit my youtube YouTube video for next week which will be the Easter vlog that I was just talking to you guys about so I need to edit that and um, write my email copy for next week have those ready to go because I know that with the jet lag I'm not going to feel like doing that stuff later in the week so I need to do that I need to grab a thank you gift for Becky Becky has been our nanny here in the United States and 
she has been the best. She's been such a blessing to my family to the point where I'm literally trying to figure out how we can like get her a work visa in the United States and take her with us. I love this lady. Like she has been the absolute best. And so I want to get her a thank you gift. Let me know, like stop the video, push pause and drop in the comments. If you were a nanny, what would be the best thank you gift. I'm curious to see what you guys have to say and if our thinking aligns with like what is a good thank you gift for a nanny. I will of course let you guys know what I decide to get later in the video. I also need to make all of my Ann Harper's and Jackson's appointments for when we get back home. Um, I will need to get my nails done. They're already a mess. I just don't really see the point in getting them done now before we travel because I will break nails and all that stuff dealing with luggage. But I need to get my nails and my eyebrows done once we get home. I need to get my hair done. I probably need a little trim. Harper will need to get her hair rebraided. Jackson, he's actually going to get a haircut with his dad, I think today probably either today or Wednesday before we leave but he might need to get another haircut in a couple weeks and so I need to make sure we have all those appointments lined up I also want to go ahead and get my eyebrows started this week here in the UAE before we leave and then last but not least guys we need to go and buy my ring so DJ and I are renewing our vows this summer. We've shared a little bit about that and the process, but a few weeks ago, I shared this on the vlog as well. We were like out looking for rings because my husband decided that since I have been such an amazing wife over the past 10 years that we will be celebrating this summer, he is going to upgrade my ring. And I found a ring that I really, really, really love. I decided to, instead of going with a solitaire, to get a second band. And so I will wear my wedding band, which I don't have on right now. I just have on this like silicone workout band because I'm about to go in the gym. But I will wear my diamond wedding band and then I will also wear like a second band. I just think that's the most practical thing, honestly, for me right now. I rarely wear my like solitaire engagement ring, just like dealing with the kids and whatnot. I don't know. I just, I like how two bands look and I like how it feels. It's comfortable. And I found a second band that I really like here in the UAE. So we are going to go and buy that this week. He told me I can't actually have it and wear it until the vow renewal this summer, but it'll be kind of exciting to go ahead and get it and know that I have that. And so yeah, as you guys can see, there's a lot going on this week and I am going to take you guys along with me for as much as I possibly can. So let's go. I'm about to head to the gym right now and get my workout out of the way. And then we will see what else I'm able to get done today. Okay guys, real quick before I hop into the shower, my mom and I stopped into the mall after my workout because we need to go to the grocery store anyway. And I wanted to show you guys what I grabbed. Made a little Sephora run. Of course, I didn't need anything, however, I tried the Fenty Beauty Strawberry Pop. Um, this is for your cheeks and your lips. I tried it out the other day and it is so pretty. So I was really excited to get my hands on it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit to my cheeks after my shower. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. I also, was not aware that Miss Fenty had a uh, mascara. It is a volumizing mascara. I grabbed that as well to give it a try. It is called Hella Thick, and so I have high hopes for this one. I'm gonna try this today as well, so stay tuned. And then I went ahead and got the things that I need for the kids for our carry-on bag. When it comes to traveling with kids, I have found that less is really more. First of all, we're traveling on a red eye, and so I really, really hope they will sleep, like I said earlier. But secondly, they spend pretty much the whole time on their tablets. Like, it just is what it is. And on travel day, like, there is no limit to screen time. And so they will spend pretty, pretty much the whole flight, like, when they're awake, watching their tablet or watching something on, like, the screen on the back of the seat. However... I do still like to just take a couple of things to occupy them just in case they get a little antsy. So I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up for that. I grabbed two of these little 
travel bags. I guess technically these are toiletry bags, but they also work perfectly for the kids on the flight because there's like a bunch of little pockets and there's this hook. And so you can usually kind of like hang it onto the seat back, like hang it onto where the tray table, table is. They can access everything easily. And so everything that I got for them for the flight, I'm gonna put in these. They each have one and they can just have it accessible for when they would like to play. I got both of them a little um, puppy sticker activity book. These are reusable stickers and they both have, I think, six different scenes and like over a hundred stickers and so they can have at it with these. I got them each a water magic book. It's basically like a knockoff water wow. Harper has the under the sea and Jackson has the dinosaurs and so we'll just need to add water into these pins and they can take these. I got them each, again, kind of knockoff um, grab bag. Harper has Princess and Jackson has, I don't know, uh, I guess this is like Rockstar, Alien, whatever. These have in them stickers, an activity page, and crayons. And so they can play with these. I picked up these LED drawing pads for them. We have had these before, but they are pretty cheap. And so they always end up getting broken or the pins get lost. But these are perfect for planes because not only can they draw and write on them, but also like with Harper, you can play things like tic-tac-toe, stuff like that. So they each have one. I got this, which is actually Play-Doh or clay. And they're in these like little, I guess, tube shapes, as you guys can see. There are a lot of them in here. I think like 24 different colors and they're pretty small. And so I will just split them in half, 12-12, and they will each have plenty of Play-Doh if they want to, you know, do something with their hands. This just helps if they get antsy just to keep them a little bit busy. And then last but not least, I just got them some hand wipes. These are technically baby wipes. We don't actually use these baby wipes to change diapers, but they're just for their hands and they'll each have one set that's like accessible for them. So if they feel they need to wipe their hands after using Play-Doh, they can get it out themselves. So that's what I picked up today. About to pack a suitcase and hop in the shower. And yeah, that is it for now. Okay guys, this is my lovely mother for those who have not met her. Guys. She is going to help me pack. She is honestly the packing expert of the family. So excuse the mess, but packing and I'm also babysitting. I don't know if you guys can see them. My grandkids, JJ and Jenna over there. So really busy. And I think the best way to go about packing at this point is to take out the clothes that I'm going to wear today, tomorrow, Wednesday, and Wednesday to the airport, and then just pack everything else. What do you say, Mom? Yes, that's the easiest way to do it. Just take out what you're going to um, need, and then just bring the rest, and I'll like do, I'll take them off the hangers and like fold them appropriately to fit as much as I can in the bags without making them too heavy. Okay. So I need a workout outfit for tomorrow and a workout outfit for maybe Wednesday if I'm able to get a workout in. So let's get that situated quickly. Those to the side. And I'm going to give you now, Mom, the rest of the workout. For okay. Those okay. Ask. Is there anything that you're going to need right away when we get home? Or do you have stuff there that you can wear? I have of? enough clothes at home that I can Okay, so I don't need to work. put anything to go on top. Then. Nope. Okay. When packing, though, I do try to keep as much stuff together, like sets. I still try to keep as much of that stuff together as I can. I just, feel like it's probably just easier, easier when you're yeah. unpacking. Do you find that having done this for so many years now, is it getting a little easier or still just as hard as when you first started? It's easier, but I still just be feeling like we have so much stuff at the end of the season. And like, but then I've learned we've been here since October. So like, you think it's more than you, you leave with more than you came with? I leave with more than I came with. The kids leave with less. 
So I guess it's a balancing act, but it's because I don't really outgrow my clothes, you know, sure. and of course I do buy some stuff and I don't outgrow them. And so I take back everything that I brought plus more, okay. whereas since the kids like outgrow their clothes, they end up taking back less, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yes, it makes sense. And it's, it's definitely easier packing to go home because when we come over on top of bringing clothes, we're also bringing stuff. I mean, I'm bringing toys i'm bringing christmas decorations i'm bringing medicine i'm bringing hair stuff i'm bringing like everything versus like going home for the most part we really just take toys i mean toys. we really just take clothes mm -hmm. and a few toys okay. so real quick guys this is what i am going to wear on the plane home it's just a little sweatsuit comfortable warm but not hot because traveling with the kids i always have a kid on me and i can have a tendency to get hot i really like to travel in like a tank top with a built-in bra i just find that it's more comfortable and then like that way i can take off my sweatshirt if i get hot but i have the bra built in i don't have to also have a bra and then hack or tip for traveling especially long haul with kids and mom you don't forget this either Everyone always packs changes of clothes for the kids. You need a change of clothes too, because I have been peed on. I've had a drink spilled on me. You never know what's gonna happen with the kids. And so you wanna have a change of clothes also for yourself. And so I just have another sweatsuit. This one is like really thin. It's from Outdoor Voices. It's really a comfortable material, but it's really thin. And so it's like easy to pack in a carry on, but you definitely want to have something. I, I did not um, do that, so I didn't get to pull that out. Trust me. Difficult. Out. I've learned the hard way. It can just be leggings and a Yeah, and that's all it's going to be. Yeah. Okay. But so I just didn't think about that. Now, let's see what I'm going to wear tomorrow. Speaking of, you guys are now seeing all of the jeans that I have. I am such a jean fanatic. That's basically what I have is jeans, jeans, jeans. And it's easy, too, because you can dress them up or dress them down. I'm just like a jeans and a t-shirt or jeans and a bodysuit type of girl. We all have our things. Now, I also have, what, two, three designer bags that I will be packing. And mom, what is your stance? And guys, like, let me know, pause the video and let me know what you guys think in the comments. What is your stance on packing designer things? Do you pack it? In your carry-on or in your checked bag because I go back and forth and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think as well I used to strictly do them in my carry-on but now over the years you know I got I want to say comfortable because I never had anything taken thank yeah. God so now but so what I do when I do pack them in my check bag I put them like in between clothes yeah so that's my thing now I strictly pretty much unless it's you know something kind of small or something I'm gonna like carry on me. I just kind of like do it in between clothes. So I used to, like you mom, always, always packed my designer bags in my carry-on bag. Like basically sometimes I'll have a carry-on bag just full of designer stuff mm -hmm. because I didn't want to chance it. But now with kids, I don't have room in the carry-on bag to pack my designer stuff. Like I have to pack diapers and wipes and snacks and things for them. So I also pack them in my check bag. I do it the same way. That's why I was like, oh, let me go ahead and give you those now before we get to the top. Never, ever, guys, put a designer anything right at the top of your bag because that is just easy for whoever right. to open it and take it right off the top. I always make sure that they would have to literally go through. rummage through my whole bag to get to it. So I'm going to give you those things now before we get to the bottom of the bag. That's why I stopped where top I of the bag, the rather. Also, too, sometimes, and I don't mean to be racial or whatever sometimes it depends on where you're coming from or where you're going to as far as you know your bags i tend more to still carry them with me when i'm traveling within the united states as opposed to when i'm traveling abroad yeah but we do live in atlanta and <laughs> Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say yeah, about that. Exactly. I have heard at some point stories. we do have to land in Atlanta about the TSA agents in Atlanta. Like they'd be like, "Hide your stuff because they will take it." Sorry, TSA agents. I have never had personally a bad experience with you with you guys, but apparently, y'all be taking people's stuff. I was debating if I should like keep out 
an outfit in case DJ and I do a date night. But I'm like, realistically, what are we about to do a date night? <laughs> like, he has practice so late right now because of Ramadan. So he'd have to have a date night at midnight and I'm asleep. <laughs> like, so I'm just going to pack this stuff up and stop lying to myself. And he's tired when he is done from practice. Although, I'm sure he would suffer through it. But Speaking of my little Daquan Jones fan club shirt. I feel like every wife of an athlete has to have at least something that has like her husband's name and number on it. I remember like back in the day, I used to always wear his name and number to a game, mm -hmm. like every single game. Now it's usually only like occasionally I only have this one, but it's still fun, you know, to show support and let everybody know who you're there for. You have to stake your claim. You know how these spots can be. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care what country you're in. Sometimes you still have to put them on notice. I think it does help that being in the UAE this season, I don't have like a ton of really thick stuff because other seasons I have like sweaters and things like that. Like I have a few like sweatsuits, but I really don't have a ton of thick stuff. So that does make a difference, especially when packing. The sweaters take up so much room because they're so thick. So, also, Coco, that's my sister, is going to pick us up from the airport in my car mm -hmm. so that the kids' car seats are there. However, do you think that we need a car and driver to help with the bags? I think so. Because if it's me, you, Coco, and the kids in the car, that means that the back, one of the back seats is going to have to be up. Oh, that's right, because of the captain seats. Yeah. Um, do we have anybody that can drive my car? I don't know the top of my head. I, mean, I could see if Corey has to work. You get her to drive her SUV. She's got, a, she's got an SUV too. Yeah, but I was wondering if we just need a driver basically to just take back, like take the bags, not us necessarily. You want me to sit on each of them? Yeah. So you can just need us just to get luggage. Mm -hmm. I just don't think that we are all going to fit in the car with the bags. Mm -hmm. And he could take me home afterwards. Is my car. Is that your house? Is that my house? Yeah, so we'll just, we'll just do that. Today, I just texted her today. That was on my to-do list for the week. She is going to make some food for us and stock with, like, basic groceries, like, make sure we have, like, juice and, you know, things like that, so. Okay, guys, finally had a chance to take that shower, and I also just finished up packing up my makeup. I felt like I just wanted to get everything that I could already packed because I know the rest of this week is going to fly by. By the way, I'm obsessed with this stuff. I love it. It's not even bedtime and I'm already putting it on. Um, and I also thought that just giving my face a break from like real makeup would be perfect during these next few days that we're here. And so I just kept out like this little makeup case with just my, you know, essentials and of course, I kept out my new mascara and the uh, Fenty Strawberry Pop to show you guys. But other than that, I'm about to put all of the rest of this makeup in the suitcase. This is what I have with me for the season. So I'll go ahead and pack that up and give my face a little bit of a break. Okay, let's try out the Fenty Beauty Strawberry Pop. You can use this on your cheeks and on your lips. I just put on the... Um, the plush pudding onto my lips and so I'm not going to put it on my lips right now but I'm going to go ahead and put it on my cheeks so we can see what it looks like. Can I see it? Of course I'm going to use my finger to kind of blend it in a little bit but I think that this is like the perfect little bit of color for your cheeks on like a no makeup day like today and like the rest of the time that I'm gonna be here. Let's just blend a little. Voila. Perfect little 
bit of color. I think that I will use this a lot during the summer just to give me a little bit of color on my cheeks without overdoing it. I think it's really pretty and it looks really natural. Now I don't have on any mascara. I actually didn't even fill in my eyebrows today so let me at least do that so we can get the full effect. I'm actually going to get my eyebrows threaded tomorrow. I went ahead and made that appointment. So that was on my to-do list for the week as well. I kind of just messed that up a little bit, but I'm not going anywhere the rest of the day. So this is just to kind of see what this little no makeup makeup look is given. Okay. I um, was one of those people that shaved off of the tails of my eyebrows accidentally trying to be grown and do my eyebrows myself when I was like 11 years old. So that's why I fill them in every day because I actually don't have tails. Let me come close so you can see my eyelashes before the mascara. And let's apply and see what it looks like after. There's nothing like a new tube mascara, I swear. Mm, I like it. I like it a lot. Let me know what you guys think. This is again the Strawberry Pop and the Fenty mascara. I love both. I think that this is pretty. All right, so I'm about to wash the dishes. DJ just went out to pick the kids up from school. So I'm going to wash the dishes and my mommy is making dinner tonight. Any night where I don't have to be in the kitchen is a good night. She's making some lamb chops. And so we're just going to kind of enjoy probably what is going to be our last like chill evening before we get ready to head back to America. I will more than likely talk to you guys tomorrow. Here's what happened today, guys. I lost my tooth at school today. Here. Wow. I only have two teeth here. So how many teeth have you lost now? Four. Four? Oh my goodness. <laughs> and where'd you say the tooth is? Um, I left it at school by accident. So my teacher got my bag. So you she forgot to go, she forgot to get my tooth. So you wanted to write a letter to the tooth fairy? Yeah. Alright. We're going to write a letter, guys. My mommy will get some paper and then crayon to write it. And then I'll get a certificate again. Then so I'll get some more money. I'll save my money so I have enough um, that um I want toys for for I want to cry the baby light button or the cry baby, but I did not have enough money. So my mom will get some paper. Mom, do you have white paper? I'm going to use this paper. Oh. Okay. What would you like to tell the tooth fairy? Um, that, that, um, that I want her to come and, um, that we can write a golden star. Okay. So you want to you want to write? I lost my tooth. Please come. Uh huh. Okay. Let's open the car. What are you gonna do with the the note? I'm gonna put it under my pillow. You're put it under your pillow at bedtime? Yeah, because I lost my tooth. That's perfect. So we'll leave it right here until bedtime to put it under your pillow. What would you like to watch for your one episode before um, bed? Gabby. Gabby. All right, let's turn it on. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Hey, guys. Sorry that I have not checked in with you guys today yet. It has actually been like a super busy day. It is a Almost 1 p.m. This morning, I went to the gym and I got a workout in. And then after that, I was like rushing to my eyebrow appointment. I came home, 
I had a quick lunch. I had to like cook um, the steak that I had for lunch. And I also went ahead and made up the taco meat that we're having for dinner. Today's Taco Tuesday. So I went ahead and cooked up the meat and then I needed to wash my hair. So I hopped into the shower and washed my hair. Why does sunscreen take forever to rub in? <laughs> hopped into the shower, washed my hair, and here I am rubbing in the sunscreen that takes forever to rub in and getting ready for the day. I'm super excited because DJ and I are headed to the mall to get my ring. We are going to get the ring that I found that I love for my 10 year anniversary gift coming up this summer. He says that I cannot have or wear the ring until the actual vow renewal. So we're just gonna buy it today, make sure that it's sized appropriately and all that stuff and then he will actually hang on to it until um he comes home in a few weeks to be sure that I don't cheat and wear it and I will officially be able to have it after we have our vow renewal celebration in Jamaica but I'm gonna take you guys along with me as we go to the store and grab it we found it a few weeks ago when we were like out shopping and you know looking at rings and I really loved it but I was still kind of torn between if I wanted to get that one or if I wanted to keep looking for a second I thought about lab grown you know I just wanted to like weigh all of the options however this one which is not lab grown and is about 0.67 carats in all is the one like I keep looking back at the picture of that particular ring and honestly at this point I don't think I'm gonna find anything that I like that much and it'll be kind of cool like to be able to say that I purchased the ring or you know we purchased the ring during our time in the UAE it's just like you know another piece of our story that then we get to kind of you know have something to to show from it and a little story to tell like oh yeah like the ring that I got for my 10th year anniversary like we actually purchased it in the UAE while we were living there so it's just like a reminder of our time here as well so we are gonna head to the mall after I finish getting ready and pick up the ring and then we are gonna actually pick up the kids early from school because we are headed to the Museum of the Future. The Museum of the Future is basically the last thing on my Dubai bucket list that I really really wanted to do before we leave and so we are doing that today. I haven't really done any packing today which is starting to stress me out a little bit but really all I have left to do is to pack like miscellaneous stuff, like the few kids toys that are going, you know, like cosmetics and like little stuff like that. And so I think we are in good shape. I cannot believe that we're leaving tomorrow. Like that time has totally snuck up on me, but thankfully it's tomorrow night. So we have all day tomorrow as well. So yeah, let's go get my ring, grab the kids and then head to the museum of the future. Real quick y'all before I head out. This stuff is seriously the no makeup makeup holy grail. Like yesterday I showed you guys what like on my cheeks. I put a little bit more on my cheeks and I put some on my lips. I am obsessed. This is like now my go-to like for everything. Highly recommend, love it. When is your birthday? 
I was created in 2022, and since then, the Museum of the Future has been my home. Good morning, everyone! Harper and Jackson, can you say good morning? Good morning. Today we're going on an airplane. Yes, we are leaving for America tonight. And right now we are on the way to school. Mommy is handling school drop-off this morning. And no, it, it's my last day. It is the kids' last day of school. No, 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 no. Last day of school here. Yeah, last no, day of school no, 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 no. here at the UAE before they go back to their school in America. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Today. We're leaving today. Harper, what has been your favorite thing that you have learned about at your school here? Um, that I do lots of activities. Yeah, you like the activities? Yeah. Jackson, what has been your favorite thing that you've learned about at your school here? The ball. The ball? Yeah. Okay. Harper, who are your favorite friends that you've made here in the UAE? Um, Pietro, Sufyan, Ava, um, uh, Lee, and, um, uh, Sandro. And Sandro? <laughs> Sandro's not here. Sandra. Sandro's at home. What about, um, your, your really good friend that comes usually on Fridays? Zia. Zia. Her too, right? Yes. Jackson, who have been but your... she comes, she came yesterday. Oh, she did? Yeah. That's cool. Jackson, who have been your favorite friends here that go to your school? Maria? Yeah. Maria? Yeah. yeah Jackson always talks about Maria, y'all. And you know, mommy is like, mm. 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 So we are headed to school. Gonna get the kids dropped off for their last day and then Mama get my Wednesday started. Of Mama course, Jackson said Sandra. He said Sandro. Yeah. Of course, today will be a little bit hectic just getting ready to travel, but I think I have everything pretty much together. So, I'll be back. All right, guys, I got the kids all dropped off at school, and gosh, like their last day of school in a given country is always a little bit hard for me. I always find myself getting a little bit emotional because, you know, they have made these relationships with these people here like they have friends they have relationships with their teachers and on their last day like it always dawns on me like wow you know it is very likely that they will never see these people again in their life like you know they spend so much time with their friends at school day in and day out they they bond with their teachers and then we leave and we don't know if we're coming back, you know? It just depends on my husband's job, his contracts, all that. And even if we do come back, like, they might not go to the same school because, you know, Harper is actually, like, aging out of the school that they're in now. It's just, you know, it's just unknown. Like, we just don't know for sure if we'll be back. We don't know for sure if they'll be seeing these friends again. And so it really does, like, feel like a goodbye as opposed to a see you later which of course like it's just a little bit a little bit hard for me you know whenever we are about to leave a country I always like try to like take it all in I try to like be really present and like smell the the, the air like feel the, the sensation of being there like take a, a look around and like take basically like a mental photograph because at the end of the day, like, we don't know if we'll be back ever. Like, I remember, you know, last year when we left Japan, like, 
we were pretty confident like oh we will be back in japan next season like it might not be in the same city with the same team but we'll be back in japan and look at us now like in the uae like so you know you just don't know how it's gonna go and so we have been doing this long enough that i know that i should definitely try to take it all in just accepting the fact that like this might be goodbye to this like home away from home, this place that I have grown to know and to love. It might be a goodbye and I might not be back here. And so just to, to soak it all in and like bottle it all up because we really have had a great experience in this country. Like the kids love their school, they love their friends. And even though it is kind of sad to leave, I was also reminded this morning, you know, as I dropped them off that I'm tired of being the people that always leave, you know, like <laughs> I want to be the people that stick around because it feels like when we're home, you know, it's like, oh, well, you know, they're going to be leaving for the basketball season. When we're abroad, it's like, oh, they're going to be leaving at the end of the season. And I'm tired of like my kids being the kids that always leave, me being the person that always leaves. And so I do think that that is just another sign for me that it is time for me and the kids to kind of put some roots down at home and spend more time at home. I mean, we will still leave, you know, to come and visit my husband abroad for, you know, four to six weeks at a time here and there, but it won't be like we're just leaving, you know, from October to April or whatever, like it has been. So I don't know, I'm looking forward to being someone, sorry, my camera's moving around, guys. Um, I'm looking forward to being someone that stays, you know, as opposed to being, the people that always leave. I feel like maybe people like don't even want to get attached to us in some situations because they're like, well, they're leaving anyway. So if you've been looking to get attached to me, to get attached to the kids, now is your time because once we get home, we will be there more or less. We will still be taking extended trips, but we will be there for the long haul. And I'm looking forward to being someone that stays as opposed to, you know, the family that always leaves. So today, of course, my to-do list is a little bit stacked, um, just getting everything ready to go. I have to finish the last of the packing. It's really just like miscellaneous stuff at this point, a few toys, you know, some medicine and stuff that we never opened, hair stuff that we never opened or that, you know, I want to take home because it's not empty, just like stuff like that, the clothes for the most part are all packed. I also have to pack um, the carry-on bag. I don't even... Ah! So I have a tripod in my car in America. I do not have a tripod in my car here. So the camera is just like sitting on the dash. Sorry about that, guys. As I was saying, um, I have to pack the carry-on bag. As I was saying, I have to pack the carry-on bag. I don't even really want to call it my carry-on bag because really it's the kids' stuff. Like all I really have during the flight is like my headphones and my phone and I just do what I got to do with that. But I have to pack up the carry-on bag. But before I like get back into the nitty-gritty of packing, I'm actually going to pick up my mom from the Airbnb where she's staying. She's checking out this morning since we'll be headed to the airport tonight anyway and she'll just spend the rest of the day at our place and this morning after I pick her up we are actually going to get 90 minute massages because even though yes we have stuff to do I also just felt like I wanted to like unwind and de-stress ahead of the long tra travel day with the kids the long travel day is always it is what it is like I just always accept that it's going to be a hard day but it is only one day you know of my life it's only a, it's a 20 hour travel day so it is one day it is one hard exhausting day and before I start that hard exhausting day I think that I should deserve a little bit of R&R &R. so we are headed to the spa to get massages just to you know set the tone for the the rest of the day they say that when it comes to kids like you set the, the thermostat and I, so I'm hoping that by setting my thermostat on chill it also does the same for the kids and everyone can have have a very relaxed and serene day today, a very relaxed and serene and restful flight this evening. Okay, welcome to my least 
my favorite part of packing for a long haul flight with kids, packing the carry-ons. Y'all, this is always such a struggle between electronics, between the stuff that I need for the kids, between the stuff that I think I need for the kids, the stuff that I think the kids might want, the stuff that I might want. It always is just so stressful packing the carry-on bags, traveling with two small kids on these international flights. I'm gonna take you guys through and kind of show you guys what I am taking with me. And after I finish this, I will be done with packing. Hallelujah. So as you guys can see, we have quite the mess. Um, it looks like a mess to you, but it's actually kind of organized into where everything is gonna be packed. It probably doesn't make any sense to you, but in my head, it makes sense. Let's see what we got going on. Okay, so these are just like our important documents, birth certificates, marriage license, um, COVID vaccine records, all that stuff. I'm just gonna literally stick it at the bottom of the carry-on suitcase because I don't expect that I will actually need it at all during the flight, but. But of course, like I want to have it just in case something weird happens. So throw that in. I always take multiple changes of clothes for each kid. I have, let's see, three changes of clothes for Jackson and two for Harper, as well as one for myself. I'm gonna throw that in the rolling carry-on as well. And as crazy as it may sound, when I'm packing my own change of clothes, I like to pack down to the socks because you just never know when dealing with kids what is going to happen. And I like to be prepared. You just don't know. I got everybody's changes of clothes in. I'm also going to pack jackets, like fleece jackets for both kids in case they get cold on the flight or if I'm landing because it's actually kind of chilly in Atlanta today for some reason. And I always pack like a really thin little swaddle blanket. I actually just have this left over from when Jackson was like a baby that was being swaddled. But I'd like to pack one of these just in case like the kids, for whatever reason, want to or need to like get down on the floor. Like if someone wants or needs to get down on the floor, we can put this down so that they're not like literally on the dirty floor. So I always pack one of these. Also, there's like some sort of diaper fiasco. I don't know. I just think it's good to have one. Next up in the rolling carry-on bag, we have like excess electric stuff. It's just like stuff that I can't pack in the checked bag, but I won't actually need to get it out during the flight. So I put that in the rolling carry-on. And then also my expensive jewelry, like my diamond bracelet, I don't pack that in my checked bag. I just pack it in the rolling carry-on. All right, last but not least, into the rolling carry-on, I have extra diapers and wipes. I also will have diapers and wipes somewhere that's a little bit more accessible. That's easy to get to for changing Jackson, but I like to have extra. I think in all, I am taking about 16 diapers for a 20-hour travel day. So, yeah, they say that you need a diaper for every two hours, and I obviously bring a little bit extra and there's like two unopened packs of wipes in here as well so i'm going to stick these into the rolling carry-on i also have two more packs of wipes for hands i don't know i'm just sticking them in here oh and then the last thing i'm going to go ahead and stick into the rolling carry-on is i have like an extra pair of headphones that no one really needs but just in case somebody something happens to someone's headphones i think it's just good to have an extra so I have this super old and a little bit raggedy pair of those headphones that I'm going to pack as an extra. Okay, rolling carry-on bag is done. There's still a little bit of space in here, so I'm not going to close it up quite yet, but everything in there is packed. Next, I'm going to pack my backpack. Let's get that out of the way. So this backpack is really, really awesome for traveling, especially with kids, because it expands. You guys see how it expands on the side? So you can like, zip it down so that it's more of like a, you know, regular size backpack. But then you can also expand it back out. My mom got me this and it has been very helpful for travel. It also has a bunch of pockets. It has like this back pocket here for electronics, an inner pocket, an outside pocket, and then more pockets on the outside. It's like 
very good. It is my go-to travel backpack when I'm traveling with the kids because this thing can hold everything. So in here, I will have my laptop, the kids' two tablets, all of our headphones that we want during the flight. I will have their snacks, which I just packed. I got them these. These are the Gobi spinners, and I've been eyeing them for a while. I got these for them for the flight, and they're all packed up. I actually already recorded myself um, packing these, and I will pop it up on the screen as a short so you guys can see what they have inside for the flight. So I will put these in there. And then I always carry empty cups for my kids to have on the flight because they don't have cups with lids on planes and it's very annoying to be trying to help a two-year-old and a four-year-old drink and not spill things all over themselves. So I pack cup with lids and I just ask them to put their drinks in these or if they won't put the drinks in these, I just chance for them. And it's easier and less of a headache for everybody. They have to be empty going through security, but once you get onto the plane or even past security, you can fill them up. Remember that I said that I would pack Jackson's diapers somewhere that is accessible. I'm going to put them in his little Mickey Mouse backpack. He sometimes wants to carry a backpack like everyone else. So if he wants to carry a backpack, he can carry his own diapers. Of course, it's not heavy. And how I like to pack my diapers for the flight is just like this. I have wipes here. I have antibacterial hand wipes. And I have A and B, which I put on after every change. And then I have like a little baggie of trash bags right here. And then how I like to do it is literally wrap each diaper into a puppy pad so that when I take him into the public bathroom or the bathroom on the plane, it's just ready to go. I can just unwrap it, lay him down on top of the puppy pad, change him. If anything gets messy or whatever, I can literally just roll it all up in the puppy pad and throw it all away. To me, that's much easier than having something gross happen on one of those like wipeable changing pads. And then when you're traveling, having to deal with wiping it, no one wants to do that. And so I'm going to put this into the backpack so that I can just like get to it quickly and easily when I want to change him. This will be right up under the seat, so it's like easy to reach. Put their cups in here as well. Now, y'all know I'm a content creator, and so I have to just take a little something on board with me. I will have my vlogging camera, which is the DJI Osmo, so it is super compact, thankfully. I'll have that, and I'm also going to take my little light and just like this little rinky-dink little cheap <laughs> tripod, just in case, you know, I'm able to capture any footage, any content for you guys. It's really hard for me to record when I'm traveling with the kids because my hands are full, but I am going to take these and the backpack just in case all right the backpack is done and you guys see how big this is and it can literally hold just about everything yes it is heavy but it's not so bad once you you know put it on distribute the weight evenly One more thing that I'm going to put in the rolling bag that I forgot to mention is medicine. Whenever we are flying for more than like three or four hours, I always take medicine specifically for the kids, but I do have some Tylenol for myself as well. I have kids Pepto. I have after bite in case someone gets a bug bite. I have Zyrtec in case someone has a little miniature allergic reaction. I have kids Tylenol and kids ibuprofen. And so I always take these just because you never know what is going to happen. I used to take a thermometer as well. Now I don't. Now I think I am a seasoned enough mom where if I put my hand on your forehead, I can tell that you're hot. And honestly, if we're on a flight, if you're even a little bit hot, you're just going to take some Tylenol and we're going to call it a day. So I hope that I don't need these. I don't plan to need them. So I'm going to put them in the roll and carry on, but I have them just in case. Harper really likes to carry a backpack when we're traveling. I don't know. I think it just makes her feel grown up and important. You guys, saw that I went shopping for some little goodies for them and put them in here. We have some Play-Doh, stickers, water, wow. I have like the LCD drawing tabs. I have a couple of the grab bags that have crayons and coloring books. I have like um, some applesauce and some fruit snacks. And so I have one of these for each kid and they should be able to kind of hook onto the seat back. Like if I can kind of hook it 
where the tray table hangs. And so I think these are gonna be really helpful. I'm gonna put both of these in Harper's backpack so that she can be in charge of them for her and her brother. And they're not heavy, so I know they won't weigh her down too much. Even though I already have clay, Play-Doh, whatever in those, I also found these that were still in the carry-on from the last trip. I'm just gonna throw them in her backpack. Like, if they want them, eat them, they have them. So yes, this is Harper's little travel backpack. She is four, so I do not put anything important in her backpack like there is a chance that this backpack could get left in the dubai airport or left on an airplane who knows so i don't put anything important in here but you know she can carry a little something she's old enough and i think that it makes her feel like involved and important to have her own little backpack so that's that and last but not least we have my bag purse whatever i really like to travel with my belt bag just because it is easy to you know throw on and like, get to everything i have my airpods in here because sometimes during the flight even if i can't like get to my um headphones for whatever reason if they're like packed and a kid is asleep on me whatever i'll just pop in my airpods and like listen to an audiobook on my phone i have all three passports, and yes, this is me checking that I do indeed have all three passports. I have all three passports, those stay there. I have my sunglasses, I have my wallet, and I have five dollars to US cash, apparently. <laughs> and I have an ink pen, you know, if I need to write anything, sign anything. So that's packed and ready to go. Although I do love to travel with this because it's easy, I have found that obviously it's not very big and you can take a bigger personal item than this on the plane and I like to maximize space. And so what I do is I take this bag, which is kind of just like a little carry-all carry bag that is from Amazon. And I, when I have to like condense, I literally just stick the whole bag in here. So then this can just count as my personal item. But as I'm going through the airport, I usually will have this out, but it's just, it works really well to just be able to stick it in here. I'm gonna put my wallet in here and I'm gonna put this in here. This has hand sanitizer, my lip balm, chapstick, and the real MVP and the star of the show children's melatonin, which I am not opposed to using on long travel days. These kids, as soon as we board our flight, which leave at about 2 a.m., so they should be nice and droopy, they're going to get a nice little dose of melatonin. So I'll put that in there. And I have a few snacks for myself that I forgot to pack. Honestly, if these don't get packed, it's not the end of the world, but just in case I wanted to have a little something, I'll probably honestly just pack these two because these are both like the same pretty much. I'm probably going to stick these in the roll and carry on because I don't anticipate really wanting them, but you know, you never know. Mommy might need a snack too. Actually, I'm going to stick them right here so they're accessible for me. Bye need a little bit of a of a pick me up during the travel day and that is it everything is packed i have the kids clothes that they're wearing on the flight laid out the only thing that i need to add but we are still like i still have some like my phone and stuff plugged in is like a few chargers and that's that we will be checking eight bags in total for four people so two bags each we will also be checking two car seats and we will be gate checking the stroller the stroller that i have for travel is the upper baby menu and it fits into this bag which is like a backpack and it also can actually be carried on and so when i go to gate check it if they tell me that i won't be able to get it during our layover then i will actually just carry it on and put it in the overhead bin because it's too much to have to like carry jackson you know during the layover going from place to place so if i can't get it when we get off the first flight then i will just go ahead and carry it on instead of gate checking i also travel with this this is the tula toddler carrier we never use this thing jackson is never in it i think he's probably only even been in it maybe twice. I used to keep my kids in baby carriers all the time. I was a big proponent of baby wearing when they were little because it was just easy. But now obviously Harper is way too tall. Jackson is heavy. So I prefer not to do it. However, 
even though Harper is tall, she is only four years old, and there is a chance that when we land for our layover or we make it to Atlanta, she could be just very, very tired and irritable and not want to walk. And if that happens, she can sit in the stroller. She's a little tall for it, so like the, the canopy won't cover, but she can sit in it and be pushed, in which case, if I needed to, I could put Jackson in here and carry him if he was sleepy and also tired. Not ideal because he's heavy and I'm also going to have a backpack on and all that stuff, but I just like to have the option. And so what I do is I usually stick this, like cram this into the stroller bag with the stroller so that I don't have to figure out where else to put it. Like I said, we probably won't need it, but I just prefer to have it. All right, so we are all packed and ready to go. My husband went to pick the kiddos up from their last day of school. I cannot wait to see how that went when they get home. He's gonna take Jackson to the barbershop to get his hair cut. And then I'm gonna put both the kids down for a nap because obviously our flight doesn't wait till 2 a.m. So we will be up and out late after their nap. We actually have the nanny coming so that the kids can kind of see her one last time. I think that they're going to go with her to a play place just to kind of get some energy out in one of the indoor playgrounds. We will all get dinner and then it will be time to get changed and, you know, start getting everything ready to go to the airport. So that is the plan for the rest of today. Okay, guys. So we have about, what, four or five hours before we need to head to the airport. We have all of our bags ready to go we have quite a lot of bags but i mean this is four people and me and the kids have been here since october so bear with us i mentioned earlier in the week that i was going to buy a gift for the nanny but after thinking about it and talking to my mom and dj about it i decided to just give her money instead and Harper made her the cutest card. Of course, I wrote on it for her, but she drew the pictures. And guys, look, she drew a picture on the inside and she said that this was Miss Becky, Harper, and Jackson. How adorable is this? The kids are actually with her now at an uh, indoor playground at the mall. I'm about to hop in the shower and then me and my mom will scoot over to the mall to meet them and grab some dinner before we get ready to head out. Guys, what day even is it right now? Like, I don't even know. Like, I am so confused. My body is all over the place. We landed at about 8 a.m. Um, from our flight that went from Dubai to Newark. I got a little bit of footage during that flight, but honestly, I slept, which is a huge blessing. Usually, my kids don't really sleep on those long haul flights, which is what makes them so hard. But we really hit the jackpot with our flight leaving at like 2 a.m. Because I want to say they slept for like eight-ish or nine hours, which is really good. Like 14-hour flights, eight or nine hours of sleep, I will take it. To me, anything over half the flight, 
um, with them being asleep is definitely a win. But I got a little bit of footage, you know, here and there for you guys, just like our travel experience overall. It went smoothly. Like I said, we landed in Newark early this morning, had to deal with passport control and, you know, everything that goes along with when you have like a connecting flight, especially internationally, it's just like a lot. So dealt with that, grabbed something to eat. I guess it was like an early lunch. And then we boarded our flight to Atlanta. We landed in Atlanta at about 2.30 p.m. And I want to say arrived home at about 4 o'clock probably by the time we got our bags and all of that. And like when I tell you that these kids literally hit the, the front door running, like they were so happy to be home, which I am too, but... They definitely had a lot of energy initially, initially just wanted to like play with all their toys, pull everything out, you know, be in the playroom. We were out in the backyard. They were definitely on 10. I'm so glad they're excited to be home, but I am exhausted, exhausted. Like, and literally I keep having to like remind myself like, okay, today is Thursday because I keep thinking that it's Wednesday, but really... It was Wednesday in the UAE when we left. I'm just confused. I'm just confused. But it is now Thursday evening. I'm so glad that I thought to have my mother's helper cook some food for us because the food was already ready to go when we got here. I'm actually about to eat my plate right now. I went ahead and did like a little Instacart order as well for just like apple juice, eggs, you know, a few basic stuff, a few basic things. Um, I put that stuff away. So yeah, after I eat, I am going to crash. It is now 7.15 p.m. The kids are both in bed. I went ahead and put them down early just because even though initially they did have like a lot of excitement about being home, they're definitely tired. And after I eat, I'm going to take a nice hot shower and I am going to bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow and let's see how our first day back goes. Pray for me that the jet lag is not too terrible this go round. Night. Hey guys, good morning. It is almost 8 a.m. on Friday. I slept so well. I was so tired. I think I slept from about 8 until 5.30 and then I went back to sleep until about 6.30 when Harper woke up. She is up and playing and watching TV. You guys might hear her in the background over there. Jackson is still sleeping but I'm about to go ahead and get him up because I do want to like get them kind of on a little bit of their home schedule. I started my new and final set of Invisalign this morning. So if I sound funny, that is why. See, not in my my trays. I have 23 more trays and then I am finished with that. Um, I am currently making breakfast. My mother's helper baked some banana bread for us yesterday. So we're going to have with that with just some sausage patties. It's a little bit makeshift, but we're going to make it work. And then on today's agenda, we are going to Starbucks because I just really need <laughs> Starbucks and a pick-me-up, of course. I'm still like a little bit drained and tired from the travel. Yes, Harper? The same hand here and the same hand here. Yeah, because they're both Spider-Man, right? Yeah. After I get my little Starbucks fix, we have to go to the post office because a bunch of our mail is being held because it wouldn't fit in our mailbox with us being away for so long, so I have to go to the post office. And then, and then I also got someone off of TaskRabbit to help move a treadmill from my mom's house to my house. She is not really using it anymore, so she said that we could have it. So I'm gonna get that moved over because I honestly, like it's only been a few days of me not working out, but I really miss it and wanna get a walk or run in maybe today or tomorrow. So gonna get that moved and that is pretty much it for today. All right, so. We got our Starbucks and we are just leaving the post office. However, little bit of an issue. In the past, whenever we have had mail that's held because like my mom or whoever isn't able to get it out of the mailbox and the mailbox gets full, it's been waiting for us at this post office. But this time we have no mail waiting. And I am missing like a ton of mail, including things that I know should have been in the mailbox, like my new debit card, my new business credit card, a ton of stuff. Go ahead, Harper. Um, there, there is a mail by our door and Mimi did not get it. Yeah. So we pretty much don't know where our mail is. Um, the lady at the post office said that 
Jackson, I told you no throwing, buddy. The lady at the post office said. The lady at the post office said is a good chance that at this point it has been returned to sender. And yeah, she doesn't know what to tell us, and so I don't really know. What to do, I am going to check the mail again over the next few days to see if it turns up. And then at this point, I guess I'm going to go ahead and, like, reach out to the bank, reach out to the credit card company for those, like, important pieces of mail that I know should be in there and see if they can issue a new one. We've, like, never had this happen in all of our time living abroad. Like, the few times that the mail hasn't been gotten by a family member, it has always been waiting for us at the post office, so stay tuned. Yes, Harper, you may say something now, baby. Um, Jackson threw his cup at me. Yeah, Jackson got in trouble because he threw his cup at Harper's head. We are just full-fledged into jet lag mode right now. Everyone feels a little bit a little bit wonky, but we're just starting like, route to home. Trying to get through. You guys ready to go At home the and next play stop a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So next week we'll be totally dedicated to unpacking, doing some like spring cleaning, unboxing packages because we have a room literally yeah. full of luggage and yeah. packages, and getting my life back in order from travel. One second, the kids are calling. However, I realized that our trash and recycling day is, wait, what's today? Friday? It is today. Wait, is it today? I don't know. I just felt like I should probably try to get some of these boxes out of the way. And so I am good. And so I'm just opening up a few things. I'm going to take these packages to recycling. I ordered two new workout waist trainers from Wet ah. Waste. These are like literally the best ones that I asked me. I got the Miracle Wrap Band and the. Uh, miracle. That's the Miracle. <laughs> Trying to get anything done with kids. It's literally impossible. But yeah, I got the Miracle Wrap Band and then also the one that I always get. Guys, the Miracle Wrap Band looks like this. It's more of just like a wrap that you wrap around yourself while you're working out. And then there's a little I think it's a line. I don't know. I can't remember what it's called. But it zips and then also has like a wrap around part as well. It is chaos. Over here, guys. Straight chaos. Yeah. Hey, hey, guys. Stop fighting with each other. I also got some, um, Harper, what happened? I also got some disposable face towels. I feel like my skin has improved a ton since I started using these after washing my face and brushing my teeth instead of using like a washcloth and then just throw it away after one use. I ordered these on Amazon. Also from Amazon, I got new ear cushions for my um, AirPod Pro Max is whatever they're called. I got these. Um, my other ones are honestly gross. Like, I work out in them, and they... I'm going to spare you guys the details. They're nasty, so I ordered new ones. I ordered something from Sephora. I believe this is something that they did not have in stock when I went to Sephora in um, the UAE and got that Fenty Skin Tint Stick thing. I got the Pearl Fenty Matte Stick. This is like a glowing highlight. And then I also finally, finally, finally got the Summer Fridays Lip Oil. Yes, baby girl. Aha, uh -huh. this will come in handy probably this weekend. I ordered, found it for Harper. We had a version of this in the UAE and she loves this game and honestly it is the best because I'm able to just sit on the sofa and read the cards out while she runs around and plays and so she and I will probably be playing this this weekend it's by the brand Skillmatics it is this is like the five in one version that has a bunch of different cards it's while waiting at the airport indoors at the restaurant and outdoors I highly recommend this if you have you know a kid that's like between like four and eight or nine. What's wrong, Jack? Does it fit? Ask Pepper. 
Um, I'm gonna. This is in my Amazon storefront as well. Cannot recommend this game enough for the parents. I also ordered a whole big box of diapers for Jackson. I honestly think we're gonna be potty training him in the next like two months, and so this might be the last big box of diapers that we buy for him at least for daytime soon. And for daytime use, I really think that he is ready and so i'm excited to do that so i no longer have a kid in my car is what mm -hmm. hey guys it has been a long day as you can probably tell by looking at me i am exhausted worn out i ordered busy v for, for dinner for me and the kids if you been to Atlanta or from Atlanta, you have probably heard of Busy Bee. It's one of like the infamous soul food restaurants. I wanted to get my soul food fix before I go back to my healthier eating starting on Monday. So I ordered fried chicken, candied yams, and collard greens. I have my fried chicken down in the air fryer heating up so I can have a good dinner and go to bed. However, before I go to bed, I wanted to fill you guys in on the rest of my day. The treadmill is in. You guys can see my little workout station back here my peloton bikes over here and here is the treadmill so that is in it was a little bit of a struggle to be honest like the guys who i hired from task rabbit were not thrilled with me because they had to kind of like break down the treadmill to get it through the door at my mom's and then they had to carry it up the stairs at my house which is no small feat because the stairs are kind of windy. I'm just checking to make sure I turned on our first round machine real quick. I did. Um, the stairs, I mean, they're not windy, but there's like a turn. Let me show you guys like the little setup. So, like, there's a straightaway, and then, you know, there's a landing and uh, like a turn, as you can see here, to go up said landing. So, it looks like this. I'm walking down the stairs backwards. It looks like this with the turn to go up. So they were not very thrilled with me that they had to take the treadmill up. They tried to convince me to allow them to put it somewhere on the first floor. They were like, you know, we just don't really want to risk it. Like, don't you have anywhere on the first floor where it could go? And I'm like, yeah, no. Like my Peloton bike is on the third floor. My whole little workout setup is on the third floor and on top of that like we literally do not have room on the first floor like the first floor we have kitchen living room kids playroom and guest room like there's no space the guest room is already a little bit tight and it's also completely full right now with all my packages and all of my luggage from being away so yeah they got it done though and i'm pretty happy to have it i was actually planning on getting in a little walk this evening just to kind of like move my body a little bit however harper asked me if i would shower with her if we could shower together we do that sometimes a little mother daughter shower and so i went ahead and took my shower with her and now that i've already showered i'm like yeah i'm not about to walk on the treadmill and have to shower again so i am about to keep my dinner but real quick a little story and i will show you guys everything that i got um my husband and i had a little bit of a bet going he was like oh i wonder you know how long it's going to take before you make a target run once you get home and i was like oh i'm definitely not going until like at least until the kids you know go back to school on monday like i'll probably go walk around and target on monday after I take the kids to school, he's like, oh yeah, right. Like you're not going to make it to Monday. He was right. I ended up having to go get a surge protector for the treadmill because the cord wouldn't reach the outlet. And so I needed to get, you know, one of those extension cords that has a surge protector to be able to plug it in. So I went to Target. And of course, when you go in Target, you end up getting a whole bunch of other stuff. So I'm going to show you guys quickly while my food finishes heating up what I got on oh, a little Target run trip. All right, so here's what I got today at Target. Some of this stuff has already been open because kids, but I got the kids some of these 
Applesauce pouches. These are the Go Go Squeeze Fruit and Veggies. They love these. And Jackson is not a big vegetable guy. So he eats a lot of these to get him some veggies. I also got them some Cliff Kids Z bars. I usually put these in their lunch or like snack. This is the iced oatmeal cookie flavor. It's actually the only flavor they like. So I'll take it. I got myself some Premier Protein. I usually drink one, sometimes two of these every day. And when I did my um, Instacart order from Publix, I didn't have the caramel flavor. I like to mix this flavor in with my coffee in the morning. So I went ahead and got a case of these. I grabbed some um, wipes for Jackson. I ordered him diapers on Amazon, but I thought we had wipes here. We did not. So I went ahead and ordered those. I got some bubble solution for the kids. They have these bubble guns that they've been wanting to do yesterday and today when we were playing outside, but we didn't have any more like solution for the guns. And so I went ahead and got this. And this apparently, you just add water and it is a gallon of bubble solution. So hopefully that this will last us a little bit. So I randomly saw this book and I could not help but get it. It is a kindergarten here I come book and as you guys know Harper's going to be starting kindergarten next school year and we are starting to talk to her about you know going to her new school and all that stuff so I grabbed this just to read to her Harper wanted these spring butterfly cakes she said she wanted them in her lunch for her treat so got these we got some little bites this is something else that I'll put in their lunch or snack as a treat the kids wanted the party cake muffin kind. I usually go for blueberry, but what ifs? We got some teriyaki seaweed, which me, Jackson, and Harper all like. My husband says it tastes like seaweed. He's not here right now anyways. We want to these. I decided to let the kids try these twisted fruit ropes. They're kind of like Twizzlers, but they actually contain real fruit. It says one cup of fruit per rope. Of course, they love Twizzlers, so I'm hoping that they enjoy these, and I can put this in their lunch as well. I got some tortillas because quesadillas are in heavy rotation over here. It's something that I will just make them quickly if they want a snack, whatever. Harper needed some new soap, so I got her some soap. I got myself some baby oil, a little shower hack. I put my baby oil into a spray bottle one of those misty spray bottles and so at the end of my shower like when my body is still wet I like spray down with it and rub it in before I towel off and this is like the best moisturizer I've found like it soaks in nicely occasionally I will put a body butter on on top but not usually like usually this is kind of my go-to and what I do I got some more B12 because I took my last B12 that I had this morning I got some bit of fiber because I don't know if you guys remember, but I think it was on my last weekly vlog when we were still in the UAE. I bought a fiber supplement. Of course, I forgot it there. And so I decided to go with bit of fiber because it said that it is like a plant based prebiotic fiber supplement. And so hopefully, this is a good alternative to what I had already been taking. And then I have been wanting to try Bloom for the longest. I just decided to try this too. I got the Bloom Greens, Greens and Superfoods. I got the variety pack because I wanted to try the different flavors to see which one I liked. This is supposed to help with digestion, bloating, and energy. You just add, you know, one stick to like water or juice or something every day. I'm really curious to see if I like this. I've like, of course, seen it all over social media, so I'm excited to give it a try. So yeah, that was today's Target run. Um, what you guys cannot see, I hope you cannot see it, but if you can, oh well, is that this house is a disaster behind me. Like having the kids home all day, they just make such a huge mess. There are toys and just things everywhere. And so after I eat my little soul food, I'm going to do a quick little reset of the house. I also need to load up the dishwasher, which means I need to unload the dishwasher, which is like my least favorite thing to do. But I really want to get that done and get all this stuff off the floor because the pollen is pollening right now in Georgia. Like my eyes have been burning, my throat has been itchy, and we just got here yesterday. And so 
I really want to get everything about the floor so that I can run Roomba tonight. I'm going to sign off from this weekly vlog today just because I feel like I'm kind of running around like a chicken with my head cut off just trying to like get resettled at home. But let's see, for the rest of the weekend, what do I have going on? Tomorrow, the kids have swimming their first day back at their regular swim lessons here in Atlanta. They both have swimming and I have to get into the water with Jackson, which is usually my husband's role, but since he's not here, you know, I'll get in with him tomorrow. After that, I actually have like a little girls night out that was planned weeks ago as kind of like a welcome home for me. One of my really close friends planned it for me and invited some other girls. And so we're actually going to dinner at like four because the restaurant where um, we wanted to go only had availability at four. But honestly, I'm not mad at a 4 p.m. dinner because your girl is tired. And I know by 7 or 7.30, I'm ready to go to bed. So I'm going to meet them for dinner tomorrow at four. That's about all I have going on. And then Sunday will honestly just be a chill day, just kind of getting things completely ready for the kids to go back to school on Monday. And yeah, I will check in with you guys on Monday for my next weekly vlog. It's going to be all about kind of getting resettled at home, unpacking and unboxing and spring cleaning and just getting my life in order for kind of this next phase of life here full time. Stay tuned for that. I appreciate you guys so much for tuning into this week's vlog and especially for like bearing with me through the tail end of it because I know it's been a little bit of a struggle with me just trying to like cope with the jet lag and you know I've been all over the place but I've still been trying to check in with you guys so thank you so much for like continuing to watch if you made it all the way to the end. Please guys hit the bell, subscribe, you know, this channel is growing, which I really appreciate and I can't thank you guys enough for being here and sticking around. I'll talk to you guys on Monday. Bye.